bring forth evil fruit. If a person is corrupt, they do what? Bring forth evil fruit. Bring forth evil fruit. That means they can't do what's right. Can't do it. Say they life. Do you not know you can try to do right if you ain't saved, but you can't do it? That's right. You will give out. You must go to sin because you got nothing to keep you. That's right. That's right. That's right. To produce righteousness, it's got to be in you. That's right. That's right. Can't come out of it. How can it come out of it? That's right. Ain't in you. The only thing the Bible said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. That's right. The only thing can come out is what's in you. That's right. You see the you see the illustration. I don't care how much it won't to. An apple tree cannot, cannot produce anything but an apple. That's right. That's right. A saved person. Got to produce rice. Because right. it's in you. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Huh? Even so, we have a good tree bringing forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringing forth evil fruit. If you ain't bringing forth evil fruit, then you're a good tree. What's the problem? Huh? If you are not bringing forth corrupt fruit, then you're a good tree. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Read verse 18. A good tree cannot. Oh, man, see? Look what he just said. Read, read again. A good tree cannot. Cannot. Bring forth evil fruit. Can you? All them people we witnessed to going in the club, talking about going to church. You just get up, Greg. I tell her, one girl told me, I know you want to have one. I said, come on, sister. I just keep it real. Now, you're going in this place to shake your tail before the devil all night. And you tell me you straight with God. Yeah, I'm straight. Her friends with her ain't even looked at her like she was an alien. Her friends with her wouldn't even say a word. They looked at her like she was some alien. And I could discern them. Actually, I could hear them talking. Saying, honey, please. <laughs> <laughs> I could discern them. Saying, please. They didn't say, they had enough sense. They ain't even going to get into this. I know I'm straight with God. Said, okay. All right. Said, you straight. You go in on dance. If you die in there, you straight. I know it. That's just old flesh talking. Uh -huh. Flesh trying to, and, and within her own self, the minute she walked away from me, her own conscience told her, you lied to that priest. You know you ain't hitting on that. You know you ain't hitting on that. Ain't hitting on that. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Can't happen. Hmm? Can't do it. This is what you're in close. But I'm going to read something here about the straight game. This is all about the straight game. You have to be saved to be in the straight game. The broad game leads to destruction. The right guy, Christ taught that we are not, listen, to expect the majority to follow him on a road that leads to life. You can't even expect that. You can't expect everybody calling the name of the Lord to follow him. Number one, compared to few will enter the home gate of true repentance. That's the key, true repentance. And thereafter, deny themselves to follow Jesus. That's another thing people don't want to do, deny themselves. Sincerely endeavor to obey his commandment. People want to do tradition, obey tradition. That command us God. See, this is what you got to do. Earnestly seek his kingdom and his righteousness and preserve until the end in true faith, purity, and love. That's the narrow way. Jesus, in his Sermon on the Mount, described the great blessing and accompanied his disciples in his kingdom. But he also insists that his disciples will not escape persecution. This is you going through. Don't think it's strange, strange, because you're saved. And going through. Jesus said, if you suffer with me, you're going to reign there. This is a suffering way. 
You have to deny yourself. Self-denial. Your flesh has an appetite for sin. You cannot feed it. You have to deny it. Your spirit man has an appetite for righteousness. You have to feed him the word. And he'll work. The warfare is not with people. The warfare is with you. The Bible said the flesh war against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. The Bible said these are contrary one to the other. So you have a job, an obligation to yourself to fight the good fight of faith. Deny your flesh. Deny it. And obey God. Jesus described. But he also insists that his sight will not escape persecution. Furthermore, contrary to some evangelists who preach that getting saved is one of the easiest things in the world, Jesus taught the following involved Heavy obligation concerning righteousness, acceptable persecution, love your enemy, and self denial. That's what Jesus taught. But you got people teach now that this is the broad way. Accept the Lord as your personal Savior. And you do anything you want. You do those these folks having all that world of fun. Mm -hmm. You know what? They got that false salvation. They ain't suffering. They're not suffering. They're not denying anything. Because right. anything they flesh wanted, before they got saved, they're still giving it to them. There ain't no self-denial. There ain't no going through. There ain't no suffering. Still on the bandwagon. Broad way that lead to destruction. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God today. Those viewing us who can't make you to the straight game. The straight game. The Bible said, repent. You want to be saved. This is the altar call. If you want to be saved, you may be in a building called church. You may have been baptized in water with Father, Son, and Holy Ghost called over you. That's not good enough. The Bible said, repent. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall see the gift of the Holy Ghost. May God bless you and have a smile upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Give God praise all of you.